Hey, welcome to Football 101. Uh, Dave Wyman from Wyman and Bob, and I want to look at some of uh, some of my favorite plays uh, after the season. Now that it's over, they're out of the playoffs. The Seahawks lose into the San Francisco 49ers, which wasn't a huge surprise, but um, you know that they, they fought hard for a half. So I, I thought it was I thought it was uh, probably about what you would have expected in that game. Uh, let, let's talk about the rookies, and these are my sort of loose numbers that I just went through quickly what we got out of our rookies production wise. And we're gonna take a look at Tariq Woolen and his pick six, which I think it's ridiculous that he's not rookie defensive player of the year because he took the ball away six times. One of which was a pick six, which we're gonna look at. And then the other one was a, he had a blocked field goal that went for a touchdown, Michael Jackson scored. So, you know, I, I thought he, uh, he deserved to be the, the rookie of the year. But let's just look at the numbers as far as production goes. Kenneth Walker, 1,048 yards, nine touchdowns. Um, him and Derek Young together, mostly Kenneth, uh, with 165 yards, but they have 190 yards in reception yardage as rookies. And then you go and look at uh, the defensive side, you've got um, 189 tackles, and this is Boye Mafe, Tariq, um, and you know, you've got Kobe Bryant, so lots of, uh, lots of good, good players on the defense, but 189 tackles, uh, five sacks, four forced fumbles, three fumble recoveries, six interceptions, all Tariq, and then passes defense, there were 20, and then again, one touchdown, which we're gonna take a look at. So Seahawks really got a lot out of their, their rookies this year. So let's take a look at uh, week four. This is a pick six by Tariq Woolen. I'll spoil it for you, but it was just a, such a nice play. And I feel like this is one of those times where he really figured out that, okay, I, I'm good enough to play and make plays in the league. So you can see he's out lined outside here. He has man, but he's gonna take away the outside. You'll see him turn his hips, but his alignment right there, pretty confident. I mean, that's where you line up if you're a guy that has lots of speed. So as, as you can see here, he turns his hips and he's just, he's not gonna let him get outside. I'll tell you a quick story. Steve Largent used to say that whatever side the corner thinks he's taking away with his position, uh, body position, that's the side I'm gonna beat him to. So <laughs> Steve Largent would try to beat a guy across the face there. So the good receivers will do that. But as it is, uh, Tariq is uh, taking away the outside of the field for the receiver. Now here he is uh, making, making the turn here, and it, it's a little bit wide. You know, I think if you're running that fast, it's hard to make a really sharp cut, but I would say that would be my one criticism that maybe, you know, a little bit more of that kind of angle, but still, Tariq has so much speed that, you know, when his technique gets better and better and better, he's gonna get even more picks. All right, here he is in, uh, in chase right here, chase position. I feel like he's kind of setting uh, Jared Goff up a little bit because, you know, he's, uh, he's a little bit behind him, but I think mostly he's just trying to keep up. And this is TJ Hawkinson, who's the tight end. So, you know, it's not like he has a, a big battle as far as uh, speed goes. The other thing is Cody Barton is right here in the middle. And that's what I would say is, okay, you got to run to this deep crosser and try to get in the way. And it looks like he's pretty far off because you can see that Goff is releasing the ball. But as we'll see, he actually gets there. And here he is, uh, and he does make a sharp cut here uh, to underneath to, to get underneath that uh, that pass right there. You can see the football there, and you you can also see that Cody Barton did sprint back because that's what you do. You just turn your back and run if you're in a zone and there's a deep crosser. And Cody actually does a pretty good game, uh, good job of this. He didn't really have a great game in this game, but that was a that was a nice drop there by him. All right, let's take a look at it from the end zone. And this is where you can see that uh, Tariq's gotten his head around and he's gotten his eyes back on the quarterback, which I thought he was really good at because, you know, you're out there, there's lots of, you know, junk that you're looking through. And to try to find where the quarterback is, a lot of times, especially if it's a guy like Russell Wilson, all of a sudden the ball just comes out of a pile. So um, he did a good job, I thought, this year of sort of tracking the quarterback and just keeping his eye on him. Here's where he, he makes his move. And I think, you know, this is where he undercuts. You can see the football right there. Goff has already uh, released the ball. And now he sees it and he's licking his chops. And luckily he gets two hands through. There was a couple times where he knocked passes down with one and he could have got two in there. So, and that's just, you know, a rookie thing. I mean, he was really good. It's just that those are some of those things in the second, third year that he'll get better at. 
And as I mentioned, Cody, pretty good job of getting back underneath this. Uh, he, he recovers well, but you can see Tariq looking that ball in. And again, you look back and there's an offensive line and trying to locate the ball is difficult sometimes when you're running full speed. So he did a really good job with his eyes and his hands. He, he's, got, he's got plus hands, that's for sure. And here he is, uh, you know, making the catch and starting his run. By the way, f so for Cody Barton, this is a rule in the NFL, always block the intended receiver first. And I used to always try to turn and try to hunt offensive linemen because they're cheaters and they would hold me. <laughs> but, you know, really you're supposed to block that guy first. That's always the guy that makes the tackle on almost every play during an interception. Here, this is, this is pretty sweet right here. I mean, looking at Tariq, you know, he, he's run this far and now he's starting to set up uh, jo uh, I'm sorry, Jared Goff. So he's got a, he's kind of getting high. He's, he's taking short steps there. He's going to eventually cut back, but I thought he set him up really well because it's one thing to be a defensive back and pick the ball up, but then to all of a sudden turn into a running back. It's pretty impressive. All right, here's what Pete I'm sure does not like. <laughs> we saw Quandre Diggs do this too, where he lifts his hand up just to kind of swim over the top of uh, Jared Goff, but not good ball security right there. Looks like he's just holding it in his left hand. So yeah, Pete would frown on that, that's for sure. But uh, he, he makes the play. So I think that there was probably a coaching point there though. Hey, let's once you get the ball, man, you got to take care of it. Once again, another, uh, another shot of that. Looks like it's actually in his left hand. So yeah, he's, he makes a, a nice move right there. Jared Goff's got no chance, but really good job of once he got over the top to secure the football and get the touchdown. So six picks for Tariq. Again, one a pick six. Uh, another uh, play that he made was the block kick against San Francisco, which was the only score, only score for a touchdown in that game. So what a great uh, player, what a great year for him. I'm really excited for him to come back next year.